دروس من المسجد النبوي الشريف In English In English In English Today we're going to take a different dua which is the dua of Ali radiyallahu ta'ala anhu He said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him to say Allahumma ahdini wa saddidni Allahumma ahdini wa saddidni In another narration of the same hadith Allahumma inni asaluka al-huda wa sadad Allahumma inni asaluka al-huda wa sadad And this is collected by al-imam Muslim So let's go over the words one by one so that we understand the dua that you're making Bidnillah This, this dua, Allahumma ahdini or Allahumma inni asaluka al-huda It's the same as the dua from yesterday So you're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance which is inclusive of beneficial knowledge that beneficial knowledge may be something that is specific or something that is general and it also is that Allah Azza wa Jal gives you success to follow that path so he guides you to a path and Allah Azza wa Jal gives you the ability to follow that path Allahumma ahdini wa saddidni as-sadad in the Arabic language it means it is equivalent to the word istiqama to be upright and to travel al qast a moderate path so to be upright and moderate now i want to mention to you the last part of this hadith because it's important the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told ali radiyallahu anhu he said when you think of hidayah when you mention hidayah think about hidayah to tariq that you are being guided to the path and when you think about the sadad think about sadad is saham okay so that means think about the arrow now if any of you have ever done archery you know that a uh, target is set up okay the person puts his arrow in the bow he pulls the bow back he wants to hit the target If the arrow is not all the way straight, right? If it's even if it's just slightly crooked, what's going to happen? It's not it's also not going to go straight. When it's released from the bow, it's going to it may start off going straight and then it's going to go whatever direction the arrow is pointing it. So Sadat Sadat the Prophet sallallahu alaihi told Ali radiyallahu anhu to think of straightening the arrow. We remember what we said that word sedan it means to be upright. So when you ask Allah you're asking the law for guidance and to be upright you're asking him for success. Right? So he says to think about that arrow. Think about how the arrow was crooked and then someone came and they straightened that arrow out. That is a sedan. A sedan. So that is because a person a person may know the path that he's supposed to be on. But if he goes and on the path and he doesn't have sadad, he knows he died. He died is you're, you're on the path. That is the path. So for example, just so that we're we're clear, uh, we're praying what direction? That direction is what? South to the Kaaba, right? To Mecca. If someone said what is the path to Mecca? And they said this way. North. Would they ever get to Mecca? No. because Mecca is that way so hidayah is to be going in the right direction you ask Allah azza wa jalla for hidayah to be on the right path as sadad now what happens is you may start on that path going to Mecca okay but you don't stay on the path that is well trodden so you go off to the left or you go off to the right and perhaps you get lost sadad is no to stay straight on that path until you hit the target so you hit that target So when you ask Allah for a sadad you are asking him for success in getting to that target you're asking for guidance and success we understand the difference between the two because a person may be on the path but then he falls off he goes left to right with sadad no you hit your target you are successful you're upright and you travel a moderate course in doing so you don't go to extremes 
not extreme to the right or to the left. So the dua again is, Allahumma hdini. I want to hear you say it because you're going to memorize this now, inshallah. Allahumma hdini. Is the other one easier? Allahumma inni asaluka. Al huda wa sada. That one's easier? It's the same dua. Okay. Allahumma inni asaluka. Al huda. That's from yesterday. Allahumma inni asaluka al huda. Let me hear you say it. Allahumma inni asaluka al huda. Was sadad. Was sadad. Wa as sadad. Was sadad. Allahumma inni asaluka al huda. Let me hear you say it. Allahumma inni asaluka. Inni asaluka al huda. Was sadad. Hold on. Now, the Prophet ﷺ didn't just teach Ali radiallahu anh this dua. He told him, when you make the dua, think about being on the path and think about the arrow being straight. And this is from the beautiful teaching of the Prophet ﷺ, that not only did he give him a theoretical concept, but he also gave him a tangible something to think about, tangibly. So you're thinking about, when you're asking Allah for hidayah, you're thinking about being on that right path. The path of knowledge, the path of righteous actions, the path that leads to Jannah. And you're asking him for sadat, to keep you upright, to keep you straight on that path. So the dua again is Allahumma, everybody let me hear, Allahumma, inni asaluka, al-huda, was sadat. Tayyip, who narrated the hadith? Huh? Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu an, the cousin of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam and the fourth of the Khulafa al-Rashidin. Ali radiallahu an, and it was collected by al-Imam Muslim in his Sahih. This is the second dua. If you make it a part of your life, don't just learn it here and no. Your homework every day is to take the dua and teach it to someone else from your family. And then give them the homework as well. So that we can begin to learn the duas that the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam made. Because they are the most comprehensive du'as and they are the du'a that contains success for us in this life and the next. That guidance, that sadat, being successful, this is what is going to give us real, true and honest success in this life and in the hereafter. شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان